but you had to be nuts to want to try and farm it back here, right? It's so rocky. It's so rocky. Look at the trees that you're dealing with. But they did it. The first farm we're going to come up to would belong to uh, Jim Bales, and he was the son of Ephraim Bales, which will be the next farm that we'll see. Yeah, they're stopping for something, guys. Oh, maybe we are in luck. Maybe. We're trying to get up to number six. We'll see where he stopped. Take a good look around right there. She's taking pictures out on the right side. Maybe she's just taking a picture. Oh, there it is. is that it? It's on the right. <laughs> I don't see anything. No, no, it's, it's, maybe just the, the creek. Might just be taking pictures of the colors and yeah. the, the creek. So look across. You see that barn? That barn is in its original location. That belonged to Jim Bales. So he farmed this area back here. Believe is that it on the right? On the right. Yeah. See about across the way? Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. So a lot of the structures you see in the park have been moved. They've been moved so that you can see them. That's in its original location. The cabin down below is not. That's been moved there, but it's very typical of the size of what you would have had back then. Look at that thing from here. You don't see any windows in it, do you? No. Because windows letting cold air. You didn't want that. Now, another way you can tell that that place, that one has been moved, so we didn't talk about Granny's window yet, but Granny's window was the one and only small window you would have in there, about 18 inches square. And that window would look out at your corn crib so you could keep an eye on things. Um, they called it Granny's window because they put Grandma in her rocking chair right in front of that window. It was right next to the fire, usually. She could tend to the fire. She could cook, but always keep her eye on your food storage. And she always had a shotgun within reach, so she could... Point that shotgun out the window, take care of whatever was trying to get their food, and add to the dinner menu all at the same time. <laughs> really cool little graveyard right up the hill. It's actually a cemetery, not a graveyard. Right up the hill right here, where a lot of the Bales family and the Ogle family is buried back there. Oh, Very cool little cemetery. My. What's the difference between a graveyard and a cemetery? Does anybody know? A graveyard and a cemetery. What is that in church? Cemetery. Flip it. Oh, graveyard. Graveyard's attached to a church. So think of your backyard or the backyard of the church. That's the graveyard. You see the rock stacking going on there? Don't do that. Oh, yeah. The, uh, you're disturbing. We got a lot of salamanders out here. When you pull the rocks out and stack them up, you're disturbing their, the area where they lay their eggs and that kind of stuff. So don't. Don't do that. There's some more going on down there. If I was by myself today, I'd go down and kick those things over. Because when you get one, people try to, if you start seeing two, three, four, five, six of them going on. So when you pass this cabin, you'll see Granny's window right next to the chimney. But what direction is that window looking at? It's looking out into the forest. So there's another indication that's not its original location. And look, we've dropped, a, what, a couple hundred feet in elevation? Got a lot more leaves. Mm 